we're going to start with discogram and then do just quick on facets. So a uh, discogram, you also may not see this <laughs> in the department anymore. We used to do these in the floor rooms, believe it or not. Um, but I believe you would see this maybe more at a pain center. Um, but the discogram is the exam of the intervertebral disc. They're going to inject contrast directly into the affected or sort of questionable discs. This has largely been replaced with CT MRI. Um, here is the um, anatomy of the disc. So the annulus um, fibrosis is the outer. It's the dense ring of fibrous tissue. And then the nucleus propulsus is the inner portion. It's the soft, like, pulp-like cushion. And if you remember from myelograms, the HNP is the herniated nucleus propulsus. So here's where our area of concern is. The C-arm is placed into lateral position. So this one is on a surgical table and swung underneath in lateral position. They're directly into um, the intervertebral disc space, as you can see here. And then facet injections. Well, it's in the name. They're going to inject the facet. So <laughs> the facet joints sometimes need um, a long-lasting steroid if um, there's like an impingement or a lot of pain stemming from the facet joints. Um, these can be often cervical or lumbar, I think uh, primarily in the lumbar spine, but um, cervical facets can also be done too. Again, um, often with a C-arm, this does not have to be done with a radiologist. It could be uh, a pain center, or it could be, you know, um, some uh, places do them in the office. So depending on um, patient pathology and things like that. But the facet joint is on each side of the vertebrae, and they're going to um, inject the local anesthetic and the steroid. It's going to um, reduce inflammation and provide some pain relief. So those ones I'm not sure you would see very often, um, but their names pretty much give away what the area of interest is.